Hi, I'm Mona and this is Sacred Geometry Universe. This is a video journal diary for January 16, 2021. Mm. I didn't do a part two yesterday. I had a part one and I said I was going to do a part two, but part two was basically was like nothing. It was just regular whatever. So I just left it at that. Figured that would be okay. You know, nothing exciting extra. We did do the extra fire pit, but you all already saw that, so, <clears throat> you know. Still trying to figure out, you know, how to do this, how to organize this channel better, you know, trying to make it exciting. <laughs> Sometimes not going to be, but, you know, whatever, it is what it is. I do like to put the videos together, though. That's fun. Putting the pictures together and making little background sounds and whatever. Sharing my photos. <clears throat> So yeah, so today though, today, I woke up to snow, I sure did, no. snowy, snowy, I got Brian right here, he loves me, I love him, <laughs> my little pooch, anyhow, yeah, it was snowing, and it's a nice little amount of snow, I mean, you can still go driving and stuff, I shoveled snow today, I sure did, ha, <laughs> I like to do stuff like that sometimes, you know not like it's a lot just to make little pathways you know so people don't slip in front of my pad or and if I do decide to leave I can just back right out whatever right also taking Brian for a walk I had to go in the suit I had to break out the snow suit that's cool though I don't mind I don't mind it's okay it's like a little mini workout anyways you know it's heavy but it's warm I wasn't feeling like it, but I did go and do it. I did do it. And uh, I'm glad I did because, you know what? Even though I don't feel like it, it's like I know in my head, like, when I'm in the middle of a walk like that, I feel energized. I do feel good by that time. So I just got to get my butt out there and do it. That's all. Not a big deal. Right? It's hard to be motivated sometimes, you know. But going out does fuel me up. You know, and then plus I don't want, I, I, you know, he loves it. Just like he likes biting my feet right now. <laughs> Anyways, for me, nature is, uh, is fuel for sure. It makes me feel alive, right? So, uh, yeah, also, um, I broke out this little book. This, this book, it's called, it's a, it's a mind, mindfulness book, right? It's called The Little Pocket Book of Mindfulness, right? And I never really opened it. I was like, oh, I'm going to read this one day. You know, so I broke it out today. And you know what? This is not too bad. This book is pretty interesting. Um, it, it's not, you know, I thought it was meditation. It says with mindfulness meditations. I guess I had mindfulness meditations all confused before. I didn't know, you know, I mean, I guess it's about, you know, yeah, you do your meditations, but, but it's also about being mindful about the stuff around you and how you can incorporate that into your meditations, I guess. Oh, I just saw 333. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I'm going to read a little tiny bit from this book, which is neat, and I want to tell you how they tell you what to do to, to I guess, uh, combine the two things. Whatever, you know. <laughs> We're going to just see. It says, In our light-polluted world, there are a few chances to appreciate the vastness of a truly dark night sky. Oh. The boundaries of our world can feel small and contracted. Uh, when neighborhood lights ablaze, highlighting differences and marking borders, the boundaries of our world are emphasized, right? So then it says, try this, right? So it says, to connect with a wider world, seize any opportunity you can to sit or better still, to lie on the ground and look directly up into the night sky. Feel the earth beneath you, holding and supporting you, breathing in, breathing out, allowing yourself to be held and supported, grounded in this earth, safe in this moment, yet spinning in the vastness. Yeah, there's more to it, but I thought that was nice, that little thing, you know about, you know, incorporating your 
meditations and your mindfulness to the night sky, you know, yeah. And, you know, if the weather was good, I would do it, but it's snowy out. There's freezing balls, so I'm not going to do it. But uh, this is a very nice book, and, uh, you know, I don't know if you want to go check it out. I'm sure I got it, at, I think, at Barnes & Nobles or something like that. But, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. It was a pretty nice day. Went out in the snow, played with the pooch. Oh, I made him some uh, bison. <laughs> bison meat. Somebody gave me a pack of bison meat. I'm not going to eat that, but I didn't want to refuse it. And, you know, I didn't want to offend. So I took it and it's been in the freezer. And I thought, I decided, you know what? I'm going to boil it for the dog, you know? There's no seasonings or nothing in it. So I don't think it's harmful. So I just boil it up, make it a little, you know, addition to his kibble. I gave him some today. I just saw 555. Yes. I did go through a change. I changed his diet a little bit. I don't give him much, just enough to season up the food. You know, I don't want to make him sick. I don't want him having stomach problems in the house either. Anyhow, anyhow he doesn't. He doesn't do anything in the house. He's good. <clears throat> so that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I just shared with you a little bit about my day and something interesting. And uh, yeah, uh, that's all I have. This is for uh, the video journal diary for January 15th. 2021. I'm Mona, and this is Sacred Geometry Universe, and I will speak to you guys next time. All right. Bye-bye.